Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think the subject of this video uh, will be distractions. It's very easy for us to get distracted in our lives from what really is most important. Let me start by looking at uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 8. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. I assume that many of you have read the Bible. I hope you've read it from cover to cover. This verse is talking about a time when Moses led his people out of Egypt and they're in the wilderness, but they are dying from snake bites. God directs Moses to take a snake and put it on a pole. And he tells Moses to tell the people, whoever will look upon the snake, they'll live. Seems odd, doesn't it? to do such a thing. And then Jesus, in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 14, makes a reference to this time when Moses had the serpent lifted up on the pole. Jesus said, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So Jesus was telling us that when Moses lifted up the serpent on that pole, it was a picture of the future event the most important event of history. The event is Jesus Christ was nailed to a cross. He was lifted up on that cross just as that serpent was lifted up on the pole. And just as the people were saved by looking upon the serpent, they lived. Now, we look upon Jesus Christ for our eternal life. When we look at Jesus for eternal life, we get it. Salvation is really so simple. I'm, I am so thankful that it is simple. And I'm sad that many people have complicated it. But it is simple and it is easy. We simply need to look to Jesus for our salvation and he gives us eternal life. So, uh, we need to focus on Jesus to get saved. And once we're saved, for the rest of our lives, it's important for us to stay focused on Jesus. Not to get saved, because we're saved when we first put our focus, our faith, on Jesus as our Savior. But we need to stay focused on Jesus because we'll get in all kinds of trouble and problems in our lives when we start focusing on other things and get distracted from what is most important. And that is that's this great Savior God of ours, Jesus Christ. Here's an example that will show you the importance of staying focused on Jesus. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit! And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer! It is I, be not afraid. 
And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? What a great event. What a, what a, a memorable, important uh, lesson we learn from this. You see, Jesus walking on the water, that, that tells us that uh, he has uh, the powers that God has, he, because he is God in the flesh. Uh, he is not uh, uh, under the, the laws of nature. He is the one that makes the laws of nature. So he could walk on water. He could do all kinds of miraculous things. And as he walked on the water, this was such an, an amazing sight to see that these apostles were fearful. That they thought he, it was a, a spirit, some, uh, something from the dead. Uh, and when Jesus said, no, it's him, be of good, good cheer. Peter was so excited, and Peter is always very uh, spontaneous and bold, so he took the initiative and said, Lord, if it's, if it's you, then let, bid me to come out to you. And Jesus said, come. And he says, he says that to all of us, all of us today. Come to him. Come to him to receive eternal life as a free gift. So, Peter... In faith, got out of the boat in the storm and actually walked on the water to Jesus. But then, Peter took his eyes off of Jesus. He was distracted by the storm. When he realized the situation, how dangerous it really was, in the middle of the sea, in a terrible storm, and he's out there walking on the water, he began to sink because of fear and doubt. He took his eyes off of Jesus. As long as he was focused on Jesus, he could do this miraculous thing, actually walking on the water. But when he took his focus off of Jesus, that's when the storm got the best of him and he began to sink into the sea. And then he cried out to Jesus to save him. <laughs> and that's really what uh, every person really needs to do. We need to just cry out to Jesus, Lord Jesus, save me. And if you'll do that, he is faithful. He will save you. He does not desire that any of us should perish. So, if you do not already have your faith in Jesus as your Savior, I'm going to ask you right now to call out to Jesus, Lord Jesus, save me. And if you do that, he reaches out his arm, just like he did to Peter, and saves him, and lifts him up out of the sea places of safely on the boat. Now, see, Christianity is not a religion. All the religions of the world, they're, they're simply systems of things that man is required to do in their attempt to earn approval from God. But Christianity is not based upon what we do for God. Christianity is based upon what God has done for us. And what God did 
is he loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross, to pay for the sins of the whole world. He was truly dead and buried, but he was raised from the dead, proving he has power over life and death. And he offers you life today as a free gift. So Christianity is not a religion, it's, it's a relationship, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as your Savior. So when you become a Christian, then Jesus is your Savior. When you put your faith in Jesus, you're a Christian. But once that's done, we have to continue walking, walking on this earth until that last breath. And it's also important to stay focused on Jesus, not to get saved. But he will rescue us from the storms of our lives if we will focus on him. It's so easy to get distracted. I've seen so many of my friends on YouTube get distracted and spend so much time debating and arguing various theological questions. And their, their, their focus is taken off of what's really important our great Savior God, Jesus Christ. It's easy to get distracted by all the troubles of the world, whether they're financial or, or health or relationships and families and friends and all kinds of things out there to distract us. But really the message today is simply focus on Jesus to get saved. Believe on Jesus as your personal Savior and you're saved. And then after you're saved, focus on Jesus for the rest of your life because then your life will be blessed. He will rescue you from the storms, all the problems of your life. All right, I, I hope that uh, this message has been helpful to some you, someone out there. So bless you in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.